Hey guys, I'm Ryan Naylor and this is how to play Pocket Full of Stars by Nine Black Alps. This was a viewer request, a song I didn't know before, um, but I really like it and it's a great introduction to fingerstyle picking patterns. If you've been strumming your chords for a while and you want to kind of get into this, this would be a great first song for you to do so. In the description box there will be a link to my website where you can get the tabs for the tune. While you're there, if you have not done so already, subscribe and give me a thumbs up if you enjoy the video. It really does um, help me out. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and zoom in on the picking hand and find out what's the deal with finger style. Firstly, we need to identify the fingers by letter. Not number this time, by letter. We have P for the thumb, I for the index finger, M for the middle finger, and A for the ring finger. It comes from Spanish. I can't remember the Spanish, but that's how it goes. P, I, M, and A. C for the pinky, if ever you see it. Pima, Pimac, Pima. Pima. Okay. So how the patterns work is that the thumb will be grabbing the bass notes that occur on string 6, 5 and 4. Index finger will be grabbing anything on string 3. Middle finger is anything on string 2. And ring finger is on string 1. Okay. So taking the first pattern here, if we look at the first chord, it's an A minor chord. Now, A minor, the bass note is on the fifth string. So the thumb is going to pluck down, and these fingers are going to pluck up. Now the pattern, it's not quite in order. It's not P, I, M, A. We have P, M, I, A. Five, two, three, one. That's the strings. Five, two, three, one. So you're going to want to spend a bit of time with just that pattern, really as slowly as you need to to get it nicely in time. These are eighth notes. One and two and three and four and... What we have in the intro is an alternating bass. So the thumb picks the fifth string and it's going to pick the sixth string on beat number three. One and two and three and four and we'll go through the the particulars of that in just a moment, but in terms of the, the technique here, the thumb is alternating strings going five and then to six. Okay, the same is true on us. We have a C chord that follows that, so it's starting on the fifth string, and then we get a bass note on the sixth string. So it's thumb on the fifth, and then thumb on the on the sixth string. When we change to a, a chord which has a bass note root note, that note which names the chord on the sixth string, the thumb will start on string six. And in the case of the G chord, the thumb moves from six to four. Six, four. Six and four. Like that. And then we have a D chord also. And then a D chord, we start on the string 4, and then the thumb on an alternating bass pattern will be string 4 and then string 5. Now these aren't quite the patterns exactly in the song, they're coming up in just a moment. Just taking you through the technique of this finger star. So, things to look out for in this, taking it measure by measure, on the A minor chord. Now I transcribe this as there being a kind of a double stop on the upbeat of two. There's two notes written there. You can kind of hear that, but I don't know whether it's an accident or the finger hitting the two strings at once. But if you're in any doubt, then you just go ahead and pick string number one. Okay, so one and two and with your ring finger with the A. Okay. And then we also that measure goes. On that beat four, there's a definite sense of, I think, a pull-off. That finger three on the A minor chord pulls off to the open G string. So add that in there if you can. 
If that's not happening, you don't have the technique yet in the fretting hand, then you can go ahead and pick, pick the open G string as that comes up with the index finger. So that with the pick, like that. Okay, that will get you through. Second measure with the C chord. You've got options with the, the, the um, fretting hand here. You can either grab this, the G note in the chord shape with the third finger pinky take string five, or you can go ahead and move the third finger to the sixth string as the G note occurs like this. That works nicely and that then gets the finger in position for the G chord, so probably that's the best approach for this. As you do that, there's an open B string at the end of the chord, at the end of the measure, which doesn't normally fit into the chord. Which is a sense of the chords are changing and that open B string is hit very intentionally, I think, so make sure you put that in there. Measure three, then we hit the G chord. That's all pretty straightforward, just the alternating bass in the thumb, as before. And then we hit the D chord. Again, there's a kind of a double stop on the upbeat of two. You can do that or not. But again, we have an open B string on the end. Put that in there. Again, the sense of the chords changing. It gives you a bit more time. You can use that eighth note to get the hand into position for the next chord. So that all together goes like this. And that's played twice. And then you hit verse number one. The progression in the verse is going C to E minor and G and D. So this is a little easier in the picking pattern in that the thumb is not alternating strings. It stays firmly on the root note, the bass note of the chord. So we go C, C, E minor, G, D. And again, that open B string on the end there. So it's C, B there, E minor, G, D chord. I don't know who you are. I don't know where you've been. Always a The chorus progression, it's the same as the intro. Okay, so you've got the intro down, you've also got the chorus. Now you, I'm gonna try and sing this as we go. Now you know I need a miracle, a star-crossed lover and elf. Couldn't do it. Now you know I need a miracle, a star-crossed lover and elf. Break at 107, it's the same as the verse progression. Verse 2 at 120, sorry, itchy nose. Verse 2 at 124, um, it's the same as verse 1. Maybe you're just like me. See the faces in the crowd Looking down at their feet Never once make a sound Now you know I need a miracle Chorus 2 at 158 it's a slight, it's the same, similar, it's just a slight change to the picking pattern in that A minor chord where before we had the pull off that I mentioned before, we can now go ahead and just pick the note. One, two, 
one and two and three and four. Okay. You know I need a miracle. Nice bit bridge at 2.15. Then we have a little tricky thing to look out for here. It goes like this. Played it wrong, goes like this. So we've got this A minor, B bass. C, D, E, F sharp, G, played it slightly wrong again. So let's have a look at that. So A minor, B bass, C, D, E, F sharp, G. Then at 2.32, chorus 3, it's the same as chorus 2. Outro at 248, it's the first progression C. Played four times and you end on a C chord. You just strum that C chord at 322, and that is the song. All right, so take your time with the finger style patterns. They, they take some time to, to get going in the hand, but be patient and take your time with it and it will come, I promise you. Hope you enjoyed that. Don't forget to subscribe and give me a thumbs up, please. Helps the channel and I'll see you again very soon. Bye bye. G, D5, C and 9. Then E minor, G, D5, and A minor 7, G, D5, and C and 9. Then we go A minor, G with a B bass, 